Hello, this is Lucia from the Pace Law Library. This is a demo on how to format your appellate brief. Given the fact that I touch on, I will touch on almost any part of the formatting with regard to pagination and table of contents, it can be used to format other documents as well, but it is specifically tailored for appellate brief. In this particular demo, I will concentrate on how to insert the proper pagination and how to take advantage of the automatic table of contents that is provided in Word. There's few preliminary facts to keep in mind. This, the brief that I'm using in this demo is just a sample brief. So any instructions that you have received from your professors regarding font type and size, indentation, order and titles of individual headings, and any other specific citation instructions, such as citing to the record, rules regarding each citation, etc., that should still all be followed. This particular demo is only to show the formatting part of Word. I am using Office 2007, more specifically Word 2007, and a PC. So for Mac users, you might be, you might be able to follow the logic behind it, but the individual tabs will be called something else, and they will also be located at different spots on the screen. Having said that, we can move on to the actual formatting. Here is my sample brief. It's already written. And you can see that I have not formatted any of my headings. It is easier that way. Just leave it as is. My entire brief is written in Cumbria. If I wanted to change it, let's say to Times New, Ro uh, Times New Roman, I certainly can. Control A will highlight my entire document. And now I can change it to Times New Roman. Okay, and my entire brief is now in Times New Roman. The first thing that has to be done is to insert page numbers. In order to do that, we have to divide the brief into three parts. The cover page, which gets no pagination. The second part, which will contain the table of contents and table of authorities, which will utilize the small Roman numeral pagination. And then the rest of the brief, starting with issue presented for review, which will get a regular number pagination. So in order to do that, I have to insert some breaks. I like to see the markup on a page, so I will click this little paragraph sign, which will show me all the markup that has been so far done to my document. So here I have cover page. I can make another room here just so I see where things are going to go. I will put the cursor next to the T to the left of the T in the word table of contents and under page layout I will insert a break. What I want to do is to insert a section break starting the next section on the next page. That's one. Now I have to insert another section bay another section break for the last part of the brief. So again my cursor is to the left of the word issue presented for review and I can insert the next page. Now I have my brief divided into three parts. The next thing to do is to insert pagination. The best way to do that is just double click in the footer if that is the place where I want the page and the page number or the header and footer dialog will open. Using previous and next section I can easily move from the footer of one section to the footer of the next section. So right now I am in the footer of the section 1. If I say next section, I am in the footer of section 2. The one thing that I want to do is to unclick the link to previous section. The reason for that is because I want each section to be paginated separately, so I don't want them to be linked to each other. Now I can go to the next section, which is section 3, and again I need to unclick the link to previous. I can go all the way to the, to the top. Now I am in footer section 1. We already said that the cover page doesn't get any pagination, so I don't even have to bother. I'm just going to go straight to the next section, which is a section 2. That's where my table of contents and table of authorities are going to be. 
All the way on the left, I have page number, so I will click that. I will pick bottom of the page because that's where I, I like to put page numbers on the bottom to the right. But if the instruction set to the left or center or top of the page, you follow those instructions. And I'm going to pick the third one down, which is a number on the right hand side. And I see that it gave me a regular number, but we already said we're in section two where we need small Roman numeral. Easy fix. I can highlight the number, go back to the page number, and this time around I will click on format page numbers. And it gives me an option to pick which formatting I would like to use. And I would like to use small Roman numeral. Okay. Now I can move to the next section, which is the actual brief. And here I will just insert the page number. The other thing that I can do is when I have the page number highlighted, I can right click it and see if I have the font same as the font of the brief. And we change the font to Times New Roman. So even here we will want to change the font to Times New Roman. Times New Roman, can leave it as 12 and OK. And actually I should go back to the previous section and change the font of the previous section page numbers as well to Times New Roman. OK. And now I have successfully divided the brief into three parts as well as assigned the page numbers for each of the three parts. I can close header and footer and I can move on to creating the table of contents. Starting all the way in the beginning with the table of contents, obviously cover page, I have here only cover page so I know that the cover page is going to come here. But I will start with the next page where I have table of contents and table of authorities. The title table of contents really never appears within the table of contents, so I will just leave that and I will start with the heading table of authorities. The table of contents in Word allows writers to utilize various levels of the heading going down to five levels or more. This particular brief utilizes three levels, main headings, subheadings, and then sub-subheadings. Table of authorities is an example of a main heading, so that will be a level one. Any subheading will be level two, and any sub-subheading will be level three. So table of authorities will be level one. I will highlight table of authorities, and under references to the left of the ribbon, I see my table of contents. I need to first go through the document and mark up all my headings and assign them to either level 1, 2, 3, or more. So in this particular case, Table of Authorities is a level 1. It's one of the main headings, so I will assign it a level 1. Word is configured to give you a default formatting, but we don't really want that. We want the formatting to match all the other formatting within the document. So while I'll still have the Table of Authorities highlighted, I will right click and it will open a dialog for me to change font, size, etc. I will here change the font. I will leave it as Times New Roman. I don't want it bold. I will go regular. Size 14 is okay. Color black. I'd like it underlined and I'd like all caps. And having said that, I will say OK. And now I have the main heading formatted. If I think that it's perhaps not big enough, I can always right click again, go to the font, and maybe make the font a little bigger, maybe 16. And that will stand up a little more. I also would like the main headings to be centered. And now I want the computer to remember that every time I mark a heading with level 1. 
I want that heading to adopt all those formatting changes. So I will right click, Styles, and I will click Update Heading 1 to match selection. And now every time I will mark a part or a heading with level 1, the computer will know what to do. So I can scroll down and take care of the rest of my headings. Issue presented for review is the next one that is also level 1. Under References, to the left for Table of Contents, add a text, level 1.